Okay, I met Draw on OkCupid. So we met on OkCupid. When I came across her profile, the first thought that came across my mind is, this girl is way out of my league. But I was just kind of killing time, talking to people, didn't really expect to meet anybody or go out with anybody, but was talking to a few different people and, um, and I'm pretty sure he was talking to a few different people too. And next thing you know, we both ghosted on everybody else and could not stop talking to each other, calling, texting, everything. Been inseparable ever since. I sent her a message and believe it or not, she responded. And it's almost like we fell in love from the first start. And this been the absolute best time of my life. He kind of was pushing to meet and I really was not think I wasn't really in that kind of frame of mind. He, uh, he suggested the Cheesecake Factory, which I had never been to before. I was like, okay, that sounds wonderful. So we decided to meet and I stupidly was uh, kind of newly single. I just moved into a place, was living alone. And on the way to the date, I realized this is really dumb. Nobody knows where I'm going. If he ends up being like a crazy psycho serial killer, whatever, nobody knows where I am or what I'm doing. I could just disappear. So I ended up calling uh, one of my friends on the way, which is like, hey, if, uh, if you don't hear from me by tomorrow, um, I, the last place I was seen was at the Cheesecake Factory and possibly Taco Mac afterwards if this date goes well. And, uh, and the date went very well. And a couple, of our, a couple of my friends actually stalked us on the date, which made for a hilarious story that I really hope they tell at the wedding. She came up with this idea because I had never been to prom before in my life. So um, Monday Night Brewing was having this little thing where they did a prom night. And she did this as a surprise to me. So we went to this prom night. We were all dressed up fancy and everything. And I had an alternative agenda where I had the engagement ring in my pocket the whole time. And the way he proposed for like around Valentine's Day, there was a local brewery that does uh, a prom for adults. And I knew that Jason never got to go to any of his proms. So I thought that would be a super romantic thing to surprise him with. He didn't know anything about it. He just knew that he had to get dressed up. I went to a florist and got a corsage and a boutonniere um, custom ordered. And, uh, and I, I took him to prom. We went to the photographer who was doing uh, photos in front of a green screen. And I went to him and I told him ha that I was going to you know, propose to and draw in front of them. So he was super excited. He was like, yeah, we'll definitely get this on, on film. And we, <laughs> we got up to do our pictures. Um, I got down on one knee and the camera broke down. So of course he just had to one up me and decided to propose while we were at the at the, the Valentine's Day prom. So um, he went up and he told the photographer that he wanted us to do two poses because um, they were letting all the couples come in and do one pose. And he said that he wanted to do two poses. So I was getting all ready to get in the other pose and he stopped and I was like, what are you doing? And he's, and he's like, you know, I love you, right? And I'm like, yeah, what are you doing? And I'm trying to get in the pose. And then he gets down on one knee and then we broke the camera. <laughs> Finally, they get the camera back online and I tell Dra like how much she means to me and how important she is in my life and that um, I want her to marry me. And it was so cool because, because it was a prom theme, um, everybody in the brewery just kind of gathered around us and was like cheering us and the prom queen and prom King was uh, excited about us getting engaged. So it was a pretty cool night. It was really cool, especially since the fact I didn't go to my own prom. We can talk about anything, anything. And even if it's something that he's uncomfortable with or he's not used to or he doesn't expect, he's so 
open-minded and he doesn't get defensive and he's just ready to have a conversation. She does not focus on anyone's imperfections. She has taught me to be the person I am today, which is be open. Um, don't judge anybody by the book of their cover. We really never argue. He's so kind and considerate, and he's always trying to do stuff for other people. He's amazing with his kids. Um, he's just, he's just a perfect partner. <laughs> like just a perfect partner, perfect. I know he's gonna be a perfect husband, and I know nothing's perfect, but, um, but we're perfect for each other, and that's what matters. <laughs> She's freaking awesome. <laughs> she has taken me and my kids in with open arms, and it's the best thing I ever imagined for. Um, like I could come home, put clothes in the laundry, and then I'll tell her, hey, I put all the clothes in the laundry. And she was like, but you didn't tell me I wanted to put my shirt in there first. <laughs> you know, it's it's just simple things like that. And I'm like, okay, I I screwed up. <laughs> yeah. it's, hey, did you get me a water? Because I asked for one. So I was like, oh, uh, that's I perfect. You ask me for drinks all the time and I forget. And then hours later, I'm like, I never brought you a water, yeah. did I? Yeah. Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah. So it's, I'm very thoughtful. She is not so much. I, I'm, I'm thoughtful in other ways. <laughs> so yeah, if you if you think of if if you don't ask me for something, yeah. I do it. If you ask me, the I biggest, immediately forget. I can, I can say from a man's perspective, the biggest arguments we have are when I am self conscious about my ego, and I let that get into control. If I let my ego go and I talk rationally <laughs> and, you know, talk without emotion, we can have a calm and regular conversation about everything that's bothering us. And that's the best thing about her is she has taught me to do that. The bachelor party. <laughs> I think I am most looking forward to in the wedding is my lifelong dream has always been to have a wife and kids and family. Stop crying, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> so See, I say something skeezy like the bachelor party and then he gets up here and starts crying because this is this beautiful emotional thing. <laughs> so yeah. That's the best thing for me is not only am I having, you know, my lifelong dream, but it's with a dream girl too. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, I love you. Go ahead. <laughs> um, in five years, I see us hopefully with a bigger house and all of your kids living with us and a kid of our own. Okay. In five years, I see us living in a bigger house <laughs> because my business is doing great and I work very hard and- You do. <laughs> yeah. Too hard. True. <laughs> you know, above all else, I love the fact that the idea of having all of our kids with us is very important to me. Me too. And then having a son of our own. But if we have another girl and they see this, this is going to suck for them. Yeah. We love suck you too, them. sweetie. Yeah, we love, we love all <laughs> We're going to raise you like a boy same. anyway, so it's okay. You'll understand. I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. <laughs> We're so excited to be here in Las Vegas with all of our friends and family, not just from Georgia and Florida, but from all over the place. And we did not expect this much of a turnout and we are so thrilled. Thank you so much. This, this is the most important thing to us and I'm so glad you all could be here. So the most important thing to me 
coming to Las Vegas was we were just going to get a couple of friends of ours together, <laughs> have a fun time. You know, it was going to be simple. You swore up and down you were going to try. <laughs> I asked my parents if they would come. And my mom said, basically, there's no doubt in her mind that she would be here. And she's never been on a plane in her life. So, this is my third time getting married. You wouldn't think it'd be that important. But it was important enough for her. So, to have that in combination with my kids being here, that's it for me. I mean, that's the most important thing in my life is my Having my kids and my parents here means the most to me. We'll see you all tonight at the bachelor party, tomorrow at the bachelorette party, and the most important day, or at least that's what we're telling people, the wedding day on Sunday. Yay. And we'll see everybody <laughs> whenever remember, day remember we see the you guys. 5th of November. Yes, remember, remember the 5th of November. <laughs>